Hi, I'm Sandeep Lakhani. I'm a consultant anesthetist here at the Walden Center. Your procedure is going to be undertaken as a day case procedure, which means you'll be able to come in in the morning, have your procedure, and then go home the same day. This video is going to give you some further information to help you prepare for your procedure. Hi, my name is Katie Bradbrook, and you've been selected for same day discharge. Please bring with you on your admission a small bag with a dressing gown and sensible footwear. Please bring minimal valuables and your mobile phone. Ensure someone is available to collect you following your procedure and to stay with you overnight. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Akinsanya and I'm one of the pharmacists. I'm just going to go through some practical points with regards to your medications. If you take any regular medications normally, we would advise ensuring that you order these ahead of your admission. Uh, you bring a supply of these in with you into hospital and we will return these to you on discharge. If we have advised holding or suspending any of your usual regular medications, we will give you a clear plan as and when to restart these if that is the case. We do advise also stocking up on some over-the-counter painkillers, so for example paracetamol ahead of your admission, so you have a supply of these to use when you are discharged. Hello, my name is Gary and I'm part of the physiotherapy team here at the Walton Centre. In this short video, we are going to talk about your spinal procedure and more importantly, your recovery at home afterwards. This information is also available in the booklet you were provided with and on the Walton Centre website. When you wake up after surgery, the nursing staff will help you to get gradually out of bed. It's not uncommon you might feel a bit groggy the first times, but you will be encouraged to walk during the day in anticipation of going home. You will find that you may have a plaster like this on the neck or in the bottom of the spine. The nursing staff will give you some paperwork when you go home and will inform you what to do about your wound check, which is normally seven to days time. People ask about showering. When you are at home, keep the plaster on. We want to keep everything dry. So we do advise you not to have any baths when you go home but to try and shower down the front from the chest down to try and keep the plasters dry. After neck surgery, most people describe an ache and a pain all the way down the back here of the shoulders, even if your stitches are at the front. We recommend that you continue to take your painkillers to a comfortable level and you may have aches and pains up to six weeks or even longer. It is safe to move your neck after surgery and there are some exercises in the booklet and we do advise that when you start to get comfortable you do start to move your neck. Here are some of the simple exercises. Turn right, left, turn right, look up, look down, keep your chin tucked in and don't forget the shoulders. It is safe to do normal activities like brushing your hair, doing makeup. If you've had lower surgery, there are different exercises in the booklet and I'll demonstrate some of those now. Do these gently and as comfortable as you feel able. This neck exercise, you might feel some tightness in the back of the hamstrings. Just start gently over the next few weeks to try and get more of a lift in your leg. People often ask about what to sit in and how to lie in bed at home. We recommend now that you can sleep in any position which you feel comfortable because it's important that you get a decent night's sleep. People can lie on their sides, on their back or any position of comfort. When it comes to sitting in chairs, again, it's more about comfort. 
Some people find a more upright chair is more comfortable initially when they go home. You can put pillows at the back or utilise a high back. People always ask about driving after spinal surgery and this is the following recommendation. It is important before resuming driving that you feel that you can drive safely and this is why the exercises help. We do recommend that you can drive safely and more importantly, you can do an emergency stop. For those who've had lower spinal surgery, one of the exercises in the booklet is a simple leg lift like this. Again, you might feel a little bit of tightness in hamstrings from one of the legs where you may have had pain, but just do gradually ease this leg up. And again, this will help with return to driving. We normally recommend at least a week, maybe two weeks or longer before you return to driving as safety is key. When you're at home, we do advise that you keep moving. Not only is this important for your overall strength in your body, but it will also reduce the risk of getting clots in your legs after having a general anaesthetic. It is safe to do house to household things. You can make yourself simple meals, make yourself a drink, just do what you feel comfortable when you're at home. There's no issues with the wound or stitches doing gentle twisting and bending after the surgery. So you are allowed to pick up light bags of shopping and you are also able to bend over to put things like shoes and socks on. The stitches may feel tight, but there's no restrictions to do things that you might need to do on an everyday basis. After surgery, many people report that they've not been as active as they normally have been due to the impact of pain. It is safe to go outside and start increasing your walking tolerance. Do that when you start to feel comfortable. Some people find it's helpful to do a diary where they start progressing how much more active they are and how much the pain is under control after surgery. But you don't have to stay indoors. As you feel able, you can start going out and getting fresh air. Returning to work. After spinal surgery, people can plan to go back to work. But I'll go through the following advice with you now. For those who have got a less active job, such as administration or desk page jobs, we recommend about four to six weeks. If, however, you are self-employed and you need to go back earlier, we do advocate a sensible approach. For those who've got jobs that require lifting, we do recommend longer, maybe six to 12 weeks if possible. We advise to avoid strenuous lifting at least for the first six weeks after surgery. What do we mean by strenuous lifting? We're talking about digging holes in the garden, moving furniture, moving flagstones, going up and down ladders to the roof. But day-to-day -day simple tasks such as shopping, light cleaning and walking are perfectly fine. If you do have a job that involves a lot of lifting and twisting after lower surgery, we do advise for you to speak to your occupational health department or line manager, because it might be that you can go to work a bit sooner, but go back to work on what we call light duties. After surgery, please do take some time reading the booklets. There will be further information which you might find useful and some useful contact numbers in of the specialist teams if you have any queries. Here are two examples of the booklet.